hello everyone and welcome to TMAC Circuits Unplugged. Uh, yet another video showing you how you can build read and web apps using the xsockets.net uh, WebSocket server, uh, the WebSocket uh, framework. Uh, uh, I prepared by uh, creating a uh, MVC3 application called Blue T-Shirt 4, as you see here. Uh, I also added uh, the XSockets framework by using NuGet and installed package XSockets. Um, by using this, uh, NuGet package will add a couple of resources to the project, some scaffolders that will help you uh, do the development of custom handlers or controllers. Uh, we also have the XSockets folder here. Uh, in which we will find the development server. Uh, the development server is something that you can, can use for development purpose, <coughs> as well as you can, can have a look at how it's built and build your own Windows service or host the, the, the uh, XSocket uh, server in the background of IIS. Uh, so let us uh, open up, um, open up um, the folder containing the development server. Um, you will see here that the XSocket development server starts, uh, which has a couple of commands. You can start, you can stop, you can see the status, you can see the protocols and interceptors, etc. Uh, enabled on the server. I will just uh, collapse this, uh, shut down this folder. Uh, as you see, I prepared by adding a sample page here. Uh, and the second thing that the NuGet package adds is the JS API. Uh, when you do native web sockets, you only need to um, include the not that file, not the worker. Uh, you can use the JX socket better API. And um, we can also add the query to the project. Let's see. Install package query. Let's see if it works. Um, yeah, uh, and we add a reference to jQuery, and we can start by enhance uh, this a little bit. Uh, sorry, it's too large. Uh, 150 is good, uh, and we can collapse the get window. Uh, we can add um, uh, so a script tag here. Uh, the type is JavaScript, uh, and we need to listen to the uh, document ready event by doing this and we need to create a variable called WebSocket we will know and we need to create a new instance of the JX WebSocket by using the JX sockets and you provide the URL to the WebSocket in this case it's an Docker host port 4502 uh, and a controller or handler that will, will, will uh, take care of our messages is called generic. Uh, we'll explain it later. Uh, and when this is done, uh, we are able to subscribe or bind listeners to certain events, like the open event, which will give us a callback. And when this is done, we can just um, add a little div, uh, name the status of our document, and say when it's done, we can add a paragraph uh, and set the text to open and append this paragraph to the div name status. Uh, this event will fire when the WebSocket is open. Uh, we can also subscribe to the event name closed. Uh, these are native events of the WebSocket. Uh, and when things are closed, we can do the same thing by adding text close to the close to the same uh, same div. Uh, as you saw down below. Uh, as the server is running now, uh, you can also see that um, we are able to open this in, in Chrome. Uh, and we will get a 
div saying or paragraph in the div say open. This means that the development server is running um, the WebSocket server. Uh, let us see here the status now. And we can see that we have one uh, connection at the moment, and total connections is one. Uh, there is nothing broadcasted through the server, nothing in, and nothing out. There's no errors captured within the server. We can also see here that the server is running on uh, local host and will answer on the port 4502 uh, and uh, allow connections from those uh, uh, origins, uh, as you see, uh, localhost and xrx.net. Uh, this corresponds to the uh, to the URL we specify here. Uh, when this is done, uh, we can uh, add a new div to the page, uh, and this div will have the ID of ball. Um, let us add some styles and style this um, div. Um, for ball, uh, let us set the position of position of the, the ball it should be absolute. We'll replace it at the left of the page uh, and the top of the page. Uh, we'll give the width uh, of 100 pixels and give a height of 100 pixels. Uh, then we will give it the background color that is um, uh, red and have a border for it border that will be two pixels solid green um, this will be a uh, ball in the shape of a square um, uh, if we do reload now of our page we will have uh, the ball uh, up in the <coughs> right uh, corner of the left corner of the page. Uh, let us now um, create a event listener that will listen to body or document. Uh, let's bind the mouse move. move. Capture the event, and um, uh, when this uh, occurs, we can just show you uh, what's happening. Uh, when we now move the mouse, we will have a um, event that's captured. And if I do console, things will be better. Uh, in this case, I will be grabbing the x and y coordinates of the mouse. Um, so let us create a JSON object called message. Uh, the message here will be um, something saying this is the x coordinate. We will grab the uh, page x property of the event and give it the page, sorry, page y property. Now we constructed a JSON object um, which we want to, to broadcast to the server. Uh, sorry. Uh, this, um, this will be the publisher uh, to the socket by saying trigger uh, on the web socket and naming the event like on mouse move. Uh, we can pass the, the message like this. Uh, this will broadcast uh, the the message, the JSON object uh, called MSG, to the to the server and the name the event on mouse move. Uh, we can also now add a event listener, uh, the subscriber of events to the socket. This uh, is uh, done within the open event on the web sockets. So we can bind here uh, the on mouse move event. Uh, and capture the message and when we receive the message uh, we'll uh, change the position of the uh, element name ball and set the CSS properties uh, to um, 
uh, left uh, will be um, uh, the message X position um, and uh, we will also append and um, the x to the, uh, the left uh, property uh, and we will say top sorry um, my wrong uh, of course it's a json object uh, that we will be passing to the uh, end like this and we do top will be the message dot uh, y and we'll add the x to the property yeah and here we are setting the the, the CSS the style attributes of the, the ball to the, the coordinates that we will be broadcasting uh, hopefully this will work we are able to, to move the, uh, the square on the screen. Uh, as we are using the generic handler, uh, which is a, a handler that you can use for development purpose, uh, we are able to send information to the server, uh, which will be broadcasted to everyone that is connected. Uh, so if we open up uh, yet another window, like this, uh, and Place it to the left and this uh, to the right and this one to the left. We're able to see that we are moving the boxes uh, quite rapidly uh, around. We can also go to the server now and have a look. See that there's a, uh, a bunch of messages sent through at the server, uh, about 800 in, and we're sending um, uh, a more <coughs> large amount out as we are. There is two clients listening to the socket. Uh, this is native sockets. Uh, we are also able to um, to run this within a, a non websockets capable browser, such as uh, all the versions of Explorer. Uh, so let us just uh, go to the to this client here, and we can remove. There is no console logs here. Uh, we can just um, of the jQuery, uh, we are dependent of JSON libraries. <coughs> we are dependent of um, uh, adding the flash object to the to the, the document, and we also need the uh, detector scripts of X sockets, which will detect and uh, place the fallbacks into the document if necessary. Uh, as you see here, uh, things will be working um, in a way. My server launcher, yeah, this way. We can now try to open Explorer and do a new instance, copy the URL, uh, and uh, open an instance of Explorer. Uh, and uh, hopefully, do the same thing using the, uh, the socket or the fallback. Uh, this is a older version of. Um, Explorer, I think it's Explorer 9. Uh, you can also um, fire up Opera and do the same thing in Opera. You can also fire up uh, Firefox. This is Aurora. Uh, we're not update now. Here it comes and open up yet another window. You will see that we are using different kind of protocols. Uh, uh, different kind of browsers. Uh, in this case, there is only Internet Explorer that will be um, dependent of the, the fallback. So this is how you build uh, Rhythm apps using X sockets. Uh, of course, you can uh, write your own um, web socket handler uh, containing specific logic. Uh, it will be placed in the handler project here. You can scaffold those, etc. Uh, and in the case you will replace the generic text handler uh, to use a specified or customized uh, WebSocket handler. A WebSocket handler can be uh, compared to a MVC free controller, supports model binding, etc. Uh, and um, we will show that in a later 
prime episode of the exorbits. So um, 